Hi and welcome to Outwell. Here I'm going to talk you through the features of our Trout Lake 6, which is a tunnel design tent that sleeps up to six people from our classic collection. You'll find with it being in our classic collection that the fly sheet we're using on here is our Outex AirTech. Now this is a technical cotton, which is 65% cotton and 35% polyester. What that means is it's going to be extremely durable. It's going to last a real long time. Uh, it's naturally waterproof and it also reacts very well to the environment that it's in, whereby if it's a hot day outside, it's going to keep you nice and cool and vice versa. The frame that we use on the tent is all made up of alloy poles, so these are nice and lightweight, but still certainly very strong and stable. What you'll find is uh, we also color code the poles to the sleeves just to make sure that you're going to get the right pole in the right place, uh, making pitching very simple. And just while I'm talking about the pole sleeves, you'll just see across the top here that we actually use flat pole sleeves. Uh, and what that does is creates a real sleek and streamlined look to the tent. Some other features on the outside, you'll find that we're using our innovative Outwell wind stabilizer system. So that's where we're using these Velcro tabs here, and we'll just show you how these work. So these come pre-attached to the tent, and all we have to do is wrap them around the pole, like so, and fix into place. And you'll find that there's one at the top and at the bottom of every pole around the tent. These are then attached to the guy lines, and when these are pulled out, it tautens the whole uh, fly sheet against the frame of the tent, ensuring that the tent is going to be as stable as possible. Just mentioning the guy lines there, you'll see here that we're actually using our floating guy line system. This is where the guy line is in two separate parts. So we have the black guy line at the top, which kind of ties in with some of the colors of the tent. And then we have our classic luminous guy line at the bottom to stop you from uh, tripping over them. And quite simply, they're called our floating guy lines because from a distance it actually appears like the luminous guy lines are actually floating. Another feature that we're using on here is our uh, easy pegging system. So this is where we supply you with three different pegs with the tent. What you'll find is that we give you uh, these solid steel anchor pegs, uh, and these are used on the corners of the tent. We then have our luminous plastic pegs, which are used for all the luminous guy lines around the tent, and we have the black plastic pegs for all of the black pegging points around the side, making sure that you've got the right peg in the right place. What you'll just find as well is all of the guy lines that we mentioned there also all have their own uh, retainer, so when it comes to packing the tent away, we can simply wrap the guy lines up in our hands and pop them in here so that the next time we use them, the guy lines are easily accessible. One thing you'll notice on the side of the Trout Lake 6 here is that we have this rain safe shelter here. So if it is a little bit damp or a little bit drizzly, what we can do is we can use this side door and that creates the shelter over the door to stop any water from getting inside the tent itself. So the tent has uh, lots and lots of windows all the way around here. We have this panorama front, so it's curved around here and every single panel has a window allowing uh, great views from out uh, within the tent. And what you'll find is every single one of these windows has been tinted so it serves two key functions. One is to reduce the amount of glare from the sun inside the tent, and the second is to give you a maximum amount of privacy. So when we uh, actually step into the tent itself, you'll see that we have a real good sized uh, opening at the front here, certainly a full walk-in height. Um, and you'll find that the door itself is, uh, is a good size where we'll be able to get all of our bits and pieces in here, no problem at all. The ground sheet that we use in the tent <coughs> excuse me, is a very durable ground sheet. Um, it's a tarpaulin PVC coated ground sheet, so uh, like I say, really heavy duty, and it has a hydrostatic head of at least 10,000 millimeters. And what you'll find is that it actually zips all the way around here, so hopefully that's going to protect you from the elements and also hopefully keep out those unwanted bugs as well. Just at the top, there is a lantern hanging point, and then coming away from that, we actually have some uh, cable tidies, which just run down to where the ground sheet zips into the tent itself. What that allows is for you to bring in any cables uh, or electricity into the tent without actually having to run any through the doors. Now, I mentioned the windows earlier on, and these, like I say, run all the way around the tent. What we have is for every single one of the windows, we have a curtain on each one, so we can either bring these uh, f uh, halfway up, or we can close them completely for full privacy. I mentioned earlier that there is a side entrance to the tent, and what you'll find is that um, we actually have a mesh panel here. We have it rolled away at the moment, but what that allows you to do is have the door rolled up like this, and then we can drop that mesh panel down, ensuring that you're going to have plenty of ventilation in the tent on those hot days. There is also another side door on this side as well, which has the same features. At the back of the tent is where you'll find the sleeping compartments, and as I mentioned earlier on, the tent sleeps up to six people. We actually have three separate bedrooms here. 
The way the bedrooms are attached to the tent is using our wave-shaped hanging point system. What this does is it creates a real secure fastening for the bedrooms, making sure that there's not going to be any stress point on the seam at the top, and also just creates that extra little bit of detail as well. Some other features on here, you'll find that we have some uh, mesh storage pockets on the outside. There's some pockets on the inside of the bedrooms as well. We also have some low light windows in here, which allows you just to have a look outside without leaving the bedroom. And on the back, you'll find that there's a large mesh ventilation panel, which corresponds to outside ventilation. A real nice feature here is, like I say, the configuration that we have at the moment is three different uh, bedrooms. But what we can do is quite simply unzip the panels that are in between each bedroom to create one large bedroom um, or we can actually drop down one of the sides of the bedroom because we're actually using our Outwell uh, universal bedroom here so what we can do is just unclip at the top and if we did that all the way around here and all the way around the back take the zips that are in the middle then we would actually just be able to like I say drop that down completely leaving the center bedroom and the real nice feature in this particular tent is that you can do the exact same on this side as well. So you can get rid of two bedrooms and leave one centre bedroom in here. There are a few optional extras uh, available for the tent, including a carpet for this living area, just to give you that little bit of extra comfort underfoot. There's also a footprint available to go under the tent for a little bit more protection. And there's also a front extension available for the tent as well. So that's all the features of our Trout Lake 6. Thanks very much for watching.